I was having a really hard time with my ex-boyfriend and I just wanted to put myself out there again and feel like people wanted me. Livingston signed up for an online dating site called OkCupid. With the way that we live with social media and stuff like that, you just don't meet people the way that you used to. It enables you to survey a broader landscape, you know, see the bigger sea of fish, if you will. So how does OkCupid go about matching the millions of users that access its pages? There are like a bajillion questions that it asks you, like personal questions so that you can find someone who matches with you like the way that you think completely. According to Livingston, though online dating can be fun and successful, you still have to be careful. Got kept getting like creepy 30 year olds that were messaging me and stuff like that. If you're not comfortable, you don't have to respond, but there are more than just other users who track your whereabouts. Just be damn careful about anything you do online. The tracking technology that most commercial sites have is amazing. They can track where your cursor is on the screen. They can track how many microseconds you spend on a particular page. We may not like the idea of being tracked, but according to Plaisance, advertisers are how sites like OkCupid are able to provide free service. We relinquish that kind of privacy for the convenience of that free service. With OkCupid and any other kinds of free service, we have to understand there is nothing that is free. Kelsey Peterson, CTV News.